Hey guys, I am Shaf with Polygon Gaming, and you are watching an amazing game. I think it was played in the last few days. I, I'm um, not really sure what event it came from, but this is like semifinals, I think, somewhere around there. So it's a little bit more high stakes. However, it's ZVZ, and I want to talk about the overall structure of Zerg vs. Zerg, and kind of how to think about tactical issues in this matchup. So here on the top of left-hand side of Abyssal Reef. In the blue zerg trunks, it's the Bulgarian from a Bulgarian team known as G Play. It's Nidex. He has elected to go for a um, pull gas and hatchery opener, as has his opponent in the red zerg trunks. We've covered him a lot on this channel recently. It's Dead Pixels Namshar. All right, so these guys are opening very similar, and I'm gonna go ahead and spoil a little bit of this game. Up to about six minutes in this matchup, especially the way these guys have opened, it's really just a matter of staying alive while uh, competing in Ling Baneling Wars. You can see the first Baneling Nest going down, both players going for the Ling speed. Uh, we'll see Namshar going for a slightly later uh, Baneling Nest because he did pull um, some people from this extractor, I believe is why, but in any case, he's got a slightly better economy as a result. So it's all about staying alive in the Ling Baneling Wars while establishing a third base, and usually this is inevitable by about six minutes. So the first six minutes are really just gonna be some crazy Ling Baneling shenanigans. I'll chime in when there's strategic insight. So at this point we have Namshar taking an early worker lead. He is six workers ahead and is about five supply behind now starting to fill that supply gap. Some Ling Baneling Wars going on here, some great uh, micro there, but unfortunately Namshar looked like he could have saved that one Baneling. It exploded for no reason. Hopefully he'll be able to keep these Banelings alive. Oh, losing that one as well. Could have shift, uh, like use, hold the shift button and continue to rally your move commands to stop that from happening. Nice Baneling hits, it looks like we're right here. I missed that, so let's back it on up. Yeah, let's see what just happened. Yep, these are Banelings swinging on in there. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and there's gonna be some uh, Ling reinforcements coming in as well to do some cleanup, because Banelings are best when there are Lings there to clean up behind them. This looks like three or four Lings gonna scout the Banelings and doesn't wanna die to those, but uh, does indeed. And we've got some Lings swinging in over here. This is the craziness of the Ling Baneling concept, and those are just parked there. On the outside while he defends here with his drones and his queens, Banelings a little bit out of position, and he has forgot about this force. Meanwhile, some Banelings have got in position here, and he is not able to snipe them as effectively as he might would like. The queen's really doing the most DPS there. So both of these players have established their third bases. At this point, we see Roach Warren coming for one player, Lair for the other. Um, both still working on their drone counts quite a bit, and one getting an evolution chamber, one already starting the plus one upgrades. So we'll see how these work out, how these decisions play out for them. Two gas coming in now for Nidex. He's already got one there. So three base, three gas. We've got one base getting a second gas. So a little more mineral heavy by Namshar. And he's keeping it aggressive. Oh, uh, yeah. He's uh, just getting some scouting. He does see the lair. As soon as he sees the lair, he does uh, swing back on out of there and scouting this third base as well. He knows this is here. Going to try and kill off as many of these drones, but not willing to really lose the lings. Uh, he does, in fact, lose them, though, trying to bruise these other lings. He pulled that army out of position, but nothing to follow up with here. Namshar is definitely a player that is known for like multi-pronged attacks and anytime he can sense the fact that like he there's multiple opportunities we will see that but we're moving into the six minute mark and up to six minutes it's just about staying alive while Ling Bane Ling Wars happen. At this point it's going to stabilize. Both players have a third and are trying to get their drone count established. However, Namshar's cut the drones a little bit sooner than his opponent. You can see he's a little bit behind, but take it back about 10 seconds. Here at 542, he's got 18 Zerglings in production. That could have been nine workers, his opponent choosing to make eight. 
Now, at this point, Namshar is floating quite a bit. So is his opponent, who's floating a little bit more in terms of gas. But by pulling, or by rather, by not making that third gas, or even the second gas as early, he's able to get these Zerglings. Where his opponent's spending a lot more of the gas on like these upgrades and stuff a little bit sooner. So, Nidix is playing for the super, super late game. Whereas Namshar's kind of got a, let's do a little bit of damage right now mentality. Now, this is not in any way an all-in. This, you know, is going to set him a little bit behind, but it, we saw it was only like four workers because of the comparable gas to mineral ratio. Now, later game, he's going to be behind on tech, and he'll have to find ways of dealing with that. But I think it's very important we see that the lings um, are able to be produced based on some of the economic decisions regarding that gas. And he's going to be able to use these very effectively because he is such a good multi-pronged player. Now he's running right past these. It doesn't look like he's going to see them, but they are morphing into Bane Lanes. So he is opening up an attack right here into his natural. See how he chooses to deal with that? Meanwhile, we've got these links swinging in here. This is wide open. We've got more links swinging in here. This is also wide open. There's not a huge army presence for Nidix to deal with this. So it's going to be mostly up to a Sim City. Here we go. Great uh, little surround here on Nidix's Queen, and even getting these lings over here to stop the kiting and the moving, and really, really good control there by Namshar. Over here, we've got these lings also getting a surround on the Queens. This is a huge blow. Losing that Queen and having lost this Queen, the damage has been done by Namshar. Let's let's face the facts. That's a lot of production. And here we go, the Banelings rolling, rolling, rolling. And we get some actually pretty good worker kills. This is going to make the worker count a lot more comparable um, at this stage in the game. But if we're thinking production versus worker count, worker count is a war of attrition. So if you have more workers in your opponent or you kill off his workers, you're hurting him going later into the game. Namishar has already shown a kill now mentality. So he's going for production. And the fact that he just killed all that production and that Nidix is continuing to make drones means he's not going to have very much larva for an army. And Namshar is already double his opponent's army supply while not reinforcing his workers lost. He doesn't care. He does not care. He does kill off that overseer, which means no more information for Nidix about what is coming down his throat right now as we speak. Namshar is pushing across the map. This is some phenomenal play by our Zergy McFerguson in red trunks. Now, his uh, opponent already scouting this with this overlord here. So we see that uh, Namshar choosing to pull his army this way, which pulls his opponent's army that way. Meanwhile, splits off and is sending a, a contingency over here. While we have a bulk forces choosing to engage very smartly with these Ravagers, just some back and forth, buying some time, and that's going to force a bulk of Nidix's army over here to defend with this. Of course, this will be taken care of, but reinforcements are there to reinforce. And uh, this weakens Nidix's uh, Ravagers. It may, allows the um, reinforcements that had were threatening to reinforce over here just got a surround and have grouped up with this base here at the third. And uh, while Nidix may have stopped everything at the natural, this third base has been forfeit. And there's just not enough roaches here to knock Namshar back. This third base is going to die. Uh, almost certainly. He's, again, still nearly double his opponent's supply. And as his reinforcements are streaming across the map, uh, little by little, this is looking way better. Nidix does have a slight advantage in the defender's advantage. But both of these players are sitting on 1-1. One, one, and Nidix knows that that is going to be GG. Namshar taking... A quick victory in about eight minutes. This is literally has to do with losing those two queens, but still choosing to make drones, guys. Preferably don't lose the queens, but if you, in your own play, do happen to lose those two queens, you're forced into a situation where you make army. Now, if your opponent also makes army, you'll be able to defend with the defender's advantage. You saw how close it got for Nidix, but economically you might be a little bit weaker than you might than you would have been otherwise because you can't make the drones essentially it's a low blow to just punish you for making drones so don't fall into that trap that's all it is zerg versus zerg is nothing but a game of traps
Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Shaf with Polygon Gaming. If you like this video, please hit like, share it with your friends. That helps a ton, especially in your favorite Facebook groups and Twitter hashtags. I am Shaft. Please consider donating on Patreon. If every person who watches this donated $1 on Patreon, it would do so much to help us create more events for you guys. Currently, we have an event coming out June 3rd. It is going to be Ryung versus Classic. Hope you guys stay tuned to us on Twitter. Link in the description because that's where updates for that event will be. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.